In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Wasp and MageGPT. MageGPT is one of the best AI coding assistant out there. And one of its speciality is that it is geared towards building full stack web application in JavaScript and Node.js. And this makes it really cool because other coding assistants, they are good at creating simple or medium complexity applications. But when it comes to building a full stack application, which means from bottom up, from front end, back end, and integrating them, those co AI coding assistant, they struggle. But this made GPT or which is built on Wasp works like a charm. This Wasp, which stands for Web Application Specification, is a Rails-like framework for React, Node.js, and Prisma. Now, there are a lot of other good things about this Wasp. One of the other things which I really like is that it works on configuration files. So all you need to do is to give it a prompt to this made GPT, which I'll show you very quickly, shortly. And then from there, it will build a full application for you on the basis of a configuration file, which you can see on your screen. You don't have to write this. This will be created by the tool itself. Now, the way it works is that you give it a prompt and then Wasp, which is a DSL, it converts it into different route front end, back end, and deployment. And then it just create it on the fly and you can deploy it anywhere. Now, let me show you this made GPT web app generator, which can generate your full stack web application in Wasp, React, Node.js, and Prisma, as I mentioned earlier. And this is what is using this project behind the scene. So here, all you need to do is to give it a prompt, your application name, and then you need to um, put, a, put in your brand color, which you can select any. And from there, you can check your creative level, which is basically the temperature hyperparameter. It could be uh, conventional, which is closer to zero. It could be balanced, which is a mix around 0.5 to 0.7. In creative, it could be, uh, it could go real zeny. It so the temperature is closer to one in this one, but let's go with balance. And then authentication method, you can select your username, password, credentials, or email, password, and social authentication. And it seems as we speak, only username and password is available. And they have some pre-built application, which you can use. Let's check out with this uh, to-do app. Just click use this idea. It has already populated this prompt for us. So it is just building a simple to-do app with one main page that lists all the tasks. And then user can create new tasks by providing their description, toggle existing ones, and then so on. So let's click on generate the app. And now you can see that it is building this application and it's almost done already. And it has created this configuration file, which I was showing you earlier, where it is telling you how it, it is going to appear in the browser and then all the routing that login page sign up route and so on and you can check all the source code here in the layout in the main.css it has created login.jsx and sign up.jsx for you too so the full application is there all you need to do is to go and deploy it anywhere like fly.io or wherever you like you can even get a shareable link from here so and it is also given uh, you the steps which it is doing at the moment. You can also expand the logs if you like, just clicking here, and it will give you the whole log how it is working. Fairly cool. Now, the good news is that you can locally install it, and the installation steps are very simple. Let me show you. So, this is from their documentation, and you can currently install it on your Mac, your Linux, and also in Windows by using Windows Shell. So log into your Linux instance. And the first step you need to do is to make sure that you're running node version 18. That is must, otherwise it won't work. And it's not mentioned in documentation. So please make sure that you have node version 18. Once you have node version 18, then simply run this command. This is going to download this wasp and it will install it in your shell. And then simply create a new application that uh, wasp new. And then just cd to your project and pass start. It will start the web application on your local system at port 3000. So if you are using any cloud provider like AWS, make sure your 
port 3000 is opened and then now at this address mask will be serving both front end and back end and um, there are a lot of other documentation and tools around um, about this tool on their website and i will suggest you that you read through it if you are looking to create your own document because you can even query your database by using this code and a lot of other things you can do with it so this is it guys i hope that you liked it ah, there you go so your application is ready and uh, you can see that how much it co uh, the cost was in order to generate this and we did it for free by the way so that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and definitely i'll drop the link to this in video's description thank you very much